what I would like to do today is explore the Goron area a little bit because I didn't explore it very much before I did the main quest in this area. So I want to see what we can get into here. One of the things I already knew going into this that I wanted to do was um, I wanted to explore this cave that I saw earlier. It's got the stuff on it that um, indicates Oops, there's another one of those that indicates that there is armor in here. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Ooh, you are getting so badly attacked. Like, it's almost not even fair. Uh, there's five of us. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have attacked you if you didn't try to attack me first. What is this? Hmm. So we're in this cave. Maybe we'll get some garb. Well, we better get some garb, because there should be. Hello. Nice. And we'll do some of the shrines here. We're going to talk to people. That's a big part of what we're going to do. Is, um, talk to some folks. Because when you talk to people, you learn things. Let's go ahead and... I'm, I think I need to do this to get across the lava, so let's do that. And this one's stuck up here for some reason. It's the right way. I guess both of them could work. Okay. Do we need the fan? I think with the controller and the wheels, we're good. Oh, there's a hydrant. Maybe we'll use that, maybe not. Oh, there is a right and wrong way. The arrows on the wheels point to... The direction, so this one is wrong. We need to fix that. Now, did I attach it in the right spot? Nope. My bad, my bad. Is that the right spot? Okay. Now, let me go up here and pull this contraption out so we can get some armor. No idea what armor is going to be in here, but I'm excited nonetheless. Oops. And let me grab these bright bloom seeds first. I like having all these um, sages, but they kind of, they're just kind of in the way a little bit. Like they're really useful, but they're also kind of annoying. Feel bad saying it. Here we go, right across the lava, nice and smoothly. Oh, lots of bright bloom seeds. Do I want to take the time to get the ones that are kind of out of the way, like, like on the sides of the cave? Here we go, there should be armor. Ember headdress. So, hot weather attack. It goes with that other piece of armor I've already acquired. Flame and high temperature environments. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty badass. Uh, we can actually wear it in here as long as I've got these pants on, I think. Yeah, then, then he gets all squinty if you aren't wearing all of it. Probably should have put this on. Oh, look at it glowing! The horns! And other parts, like the little flames on the armor. Um, I probably should have worn the other armor when I first came in, or like the main uh, body piece when I first came in since I was fighting those warblins. Yeah, we don't need to go super out of the way for bright bloom seeds. I have a crazy amount. So I'll just take the ones, like the low hanging bright bloom seeds. I'm not gonna go super out of my way for them though. That looks like through here could be something. Yeah. Yeah, now the cave is brighter. Oops. Stepped in the lava a little bit. There we go. I knew that there had to be one of these guys. Wait, let's do a weaker weapon. Right, okay, that's not that much weaker, but whatever. Okay. Get that booble. That's probably the whole cave. 
It is a blood moon. Do these things break open? All these cracks that I'm like these things. I could test it with Yonobo. I see Raiju, I see Tolan. I don't see Yonobo or Sidon. They're Sidon, okay. Maybe he'll show up after the blood moon. When the glow of the blood After the Blood Moon um cutscene, I mean. No, where is he? Why is everyone else here? I, I have I yeah, I, I just used him. Ooh, a fireproof lizard. I I need to collect these. That's something else I'll have to remember to do while I'm here. Because uh, I need them for an armor upgrade. Why does Zelda keep on sending these moons? <laughs> Get out of here with your moons, Zelda! I just want to try breaking one of these things really quick. Okay, they don't break. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Um... Let's head out of this cave. I'm getting um, hit up in my parapet about. Uh... Oh, there's another horror one? Oh, there's two more? Oh, it's a blood moon. The ones I just killed came back. Okay, well, now I can use this armor. I was trying to headshot him and it took too long. Nice. Look, he's on fire because of, because of what I'm wearing. Oh, I'm, I'm using a terrible weapon. That's my bad. Are you dead yet? Oh, you are. Okay. There's another one. Sages take care of him. Okay. Thank you, sages. That's nice. Oh, another lizard. Um, come here, little lizard. Okay. Yeah, we can we can bounce from this cave now. And maybe we, we can go to a shrine. Oh, a shrine. A lizard. It's behind my head, but it's there. Okay, now yeah, I got it. <laughs> and that is for this cave, but I want the money. Oh no! That's a lot of money I got there. Oh, should we fight those? Is this considered a hot region still? Like, using this armor? Um... Is this actually gonna help me? Now that I'm out of that cave? I'm looking for a muddle bud. There we go. We're attacking each other. Yeah, attack each other, attack each other. I don't know if it applies to the big guy. Yeah, maybe we should just leave him alone. we shoot him with? By tight, by fuse attack power. Yeah, let's do fuse attack power. Shoot him with this. Give dough bones. Oh, okay. Very nice. Nice and quick. Yeah, I, I want his parts. The, the big guy has some really good fuse parts. Is that a Sunderline? I'd like that. <gasps> and a lizard. Come to me, please, so I can upgrade my armor. Uh, uh, got him. Oh my gosh, there's another. I mean, we are in their habitat, so it makes sense, but this might be a huge distraction, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Got it. All right, what does the sign say? Goron City, Yenemoko, HQ. Okay, that's fine. We we know about that stuff. Oh! 
That's a tough Bokob one right there. Should we muddle by them again? I don't know where, like, the, wh how to sort this to find the muddle bud faster. I think because I don't use them that often. There we go. Yeah, fight each other, fight each other. <laughs> it's because like, I don't use them that often. They probably um, aren't going to show up where would make make it easier. Oh no, I missed! Okay, I didn't miss that time. Yeah, kill each other, kill each other. <laughs> nice, alright, we got got the moblin. Moblin. Here, let's go after the tough guy. He's gonna be the hardest to take down. I think the muddle butt has worn off. And I think I need to use something like this on this guy because he's got armor. Oh, he got me. Alright, back to a stronger weapon. Maybe this one. Not that one, I meant this one. Oh no! You can make your your own battle arena? How do you do that? I should have uh I should have eaten something because that guy does so much damage. I was doing pretty good until then. We're gonna do it again. Uh, let's do the the muddle but again. Just make them fight and watch them. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I know. I should just sit back and sip my tea while they do that. Um, fuse attack power. Yep. So many of these Gibdo bones. Well. Oh crap! Why are you after me already? Here, let's let's muddle bud him. There it is. All right, now you two fight each other, and sages have at it. Yep. There we go, let me sip my tea. I mean, if I can contribute to getting their health down lower faster, I should probably do that. Let me also get my health up. For when that runs out and then the, the real tough one attacks me. Okay, here he comes. Oh no. Oh, that one's still got the muddle bud, so he's still going after him. I think I just like saying muddle bud. It's kind of fun to say. Let's fight him from a distance because he scares the crap out of me. Here. Oh, he's gonna- oh, he was winding up. That was so scary. Come on, come on. We got it, we got it. There we go. Okay, there's the other one. He's got armor, but he's not as scary. Let's just- let's just take that down. Okay, I- I don't want to lose the parts that the other <laughs> the silver bokoblin dropped. Oh, how did you get? I was behind him. That is a wide range. Oh, I don't even need this anymore. His armor's broken. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we had to do that little revenge attack. What do they got over here? Oh, that was from the, the Moblin. He dropped more stuff that time than he did when I killed him last time. So I'm kind of glad that I <laughs> that I got killed. Also, what direction? This direction, there should be a shrine. Um, could it be this shrine? There could be another. Let me see here. Let me think. Here, let me go. We'll fast travel to this shrine and then uh, do the shrine. And then 
explore the city, talk to people, we'll see what happens when we talk to people. Because you always get little nice tips and hints. And look, the horns aren't glowing anymore. Nobody was lit on fire while I was wearing this, so this area is not hot enough. It's got to be hotter. I wonder if it works in Gerudo. Might as well take it off. Wield wonders. But it looks so cool. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of, um, what's, what's, what's it called? Not a centaur, um, but like a centaur that they walk on two legs because his, his feet are so boxy and he's got horns. I guess to glow for it to work. Right, yeah. All right. Oh, so this is, um, the bridge that came across in the, um, temple. This looks like a mess. How does this work? Yeah, it doesn't look safe. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Um, careful, not too close to the edge. Oh, that's as far as I can push it. How do we do this? Like a fawn. <laughs> yeah. Like if he was wearing regular pants, it wouldn't look like that as much, but because his boots are so boxy. I don't know what the purpose of that thing is. Like you can't stand on it. Maybe you're supposed to attach it to those other things. use this like this for now like a bridge it works I don't know if that's what they want you to wanted you to do but I was able to get across hmm yeah I wonder if this maybe needs to be attached like that to not flip all over the place and throw me right into the lava. Hmm. I don't know what the point of this platform is. There's another platform over there. Nothing down there. Is there a treasure up there? Couldn't see one, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Oh, this is gonna these are going to be conflicting. Me. Can't control this thing because it doesn't have a controller on it. Like, I can't control the direction. Let's see. Are we gonna go into the lava? No, oh, this is sturdy. Okay. Now oh, I see the treasure. we gonna get up there what the heck what is this yeah. 
Is this thing? Lots of balls. I don't understand what any of this is. These are all new to me. Do I just drop it in that center there? That's what I'm gonna try to do. No, nope, nothing happened. And what is this thing? Oh, it's movable. Right here, let it. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, oh, that landed on me. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna tip the other way, the way that I wanted it to go. You know? I'll, I'll I'll direct it this time instead of just lo hoping it does what I want. I'll tell it what to do. Wait, can I not climb this? Can I? I can, but. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I will use it to, or I will replace. What does this bow do? Yeah. Oh, this is worth five. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay. I'm just gonna see what happens when I do this. <laughs> I don't understand why that's there and all these balls. We need to put all these down here. Oops, I want Ultra Hand. Thank you. Do we gotta move all of them down there? This is gonna take a long time. I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, so this could be a waste of time, but we'll find out in a moment. I'm just attaching all of them together so I can move them all down there at once. I can't think of what else to do except put all the balls down there. Oh. Okay, it didn't need to be all of them. Okay, so it just needed to weigh it down. That's all the chests. The door is open. And we got another spirit orb! Woo! Why not make a bulldozer to push them all? Why not? Because uh, I didn't think about it until <laughs> he pointed it out. I did, um, well, I did get on that thing. I did, I did activate the thing. Um, to, like, just go in, like, push them through. And it only pushed a little bit through. But that, that's definitely why they had that there. But it didn't, it wasn't that effective when I tried it. So, to answer your question, I did. <laughs> it just didn't work. Unless there was a different way you could do it than what I tried. Okay, so we got that shrine. Now we can just go talk to people and see if we learn anything new. This guy looks so angry. He says, yeah. Master Rowan, please let me try making the boulder breaker again. You've got some gall, kid. After you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock roast, what's it? I'm done with you. 
I've got no excuses. Oh, no, he's sad. But I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker first. Let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good, then he can be done with me. He still looks a little possessed. Like, different colored eyes, but there's a weird little glow in them that makes me think that that rock roast hasn't... Marbled rock roast hasn't fully worn off. You've got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something, but with that materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. His eyes, see, his eyes seem glazed over. Yeah, something's going on with this guy. I don't trust him. Uh, I think that's... They're basically telling me what I need to bring to get this side quest completed. And I don't want to hand over any diamonds. Since you spent all our material funds on marbled rock roast, we're dried up. We don't have any money or materials. You know what? He's probably going through withdrawal. <laughs> Ugh, I... I'll just, uh, do something about that. Well, is this a cobble crusher? Hey, bub. Keep your hands off of that. That's a custom-made product called the Boulder Breaker, a historic weapon that is venerated among us Gorons. But currently, it's nothing more than a hunk of junk till it's completed. It's fragile, so don't touch it. But if you bring me the materials I need to complete it, I might let you have it. It's not a priority for me at the moment. Um, but we've got that side quest log, so if I ever do really want that weapon, then I know what to do. And I know who to talk to. Alright. Well, that's a side quest. What are you guys doing? Taking a bath? We minecart land was so fun. I knew Django would make it the best. Someone I don't know wants to talk to me. Django told me not to talk to people I don't know. So I shouldn't talk about how much fun I had in minecart land, the place he made. And I definitely shouldn't talk about how I went and played there and went zoom. <laughs> okay. How about you? The young Gorons are back to work and minecart land was completed safely. I think it's about time I retire and tour some hot springs. So I'll start with Goron hot springs. Actually, maybe I'll go further than that. Maybe I'll take a peek at Simmerstone Springs. Goron? Uh, there are the most famous hot springs in these lands over. What are we looking at? Just cross that bridge and head south. You can't miss them. Uh, elderly fellow really knows his stuff when it comes to hot springs. Okay. He told me about a place called Simmerstone Springs that's apparently legendary. I can't decide whether to go to Goron or Simmerstone Springs. Tell me more Ooh. about that. Uh, he just heard it from an elderly fellow. Fella. Um, he says is a Simmerstone is a in a place called Gorgo Tunnel, which is farther south than Goron Hot Springs. Okay, that area is expansive, so if you're going there, I recommend you ask him for specifics. Okay, wow. all right. And how about you? What do you have to say? Yeah. Oh, you're Django, a traveler. Fancy a daytime soap? Yeah. You should head to Minecart Land. It's Yonoboko's masterwork. Of course, I helped build it too. Once you leave the city gate, head straight down the road and you'll see it on your left. Okay. When I'm feeling better, I intend to have a good time there myself. Everybody's talking about it. I should probably go check it out. Sounds like a fun time. Uh, there's our guy. Well, there's Yonobo. I don't know if Yonobo's got anything interesting to say, but the other guy. Lizard Lakes. I remember something about that other Zelda. When we were missing Marble Rock Rose on the north side of Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. Bit surprised to hear the words Lizard Lakes coming out of your craw. Don't much hear about them lakes these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about them. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Okay. Not everyone knows this, but the Lizard Lakes are also called li the Lizard Brothers. I started trying low for them back in my younger years, always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I've forgotten all about my search for the lakes. That's it. Talking about this is me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start that hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's a Yonoboko dig site there, too, so we can hop in a minecart and get cracking. Hi. Oh, my egg and back. That sucks. 
Um, I want the hidden treasure. The, I know what he's talking about. I've seen it on my map. They are exactly, it's exactly what it sounds like. There's lakes in the shape of lizards. So maybe we can fast travel to the shrine and then look at it from there. Or like go somewhere on the mountain. We'll do that in a moment. I do want to check that out. Oh, you're selling diamonds? You're selling them for more than I've got and I also don't want to buy them right now, so. Bimpa? If it isn't Link, have you come here looking for geoglyphs too? Not really, but I would, wouldn't mind finding one. We're in the area after hearing there may be some out here. I think I've been wondering, have you found the geoglyph in the Gerudo Highlands yet? I found it, but I didn't interact with it. The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a person. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. Cool. I just want to talk to a few more people. You probably don't have anything interesting to say, right? You're just a shopkeeper. Um, the caves are still piping hot. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. Exactly what I thought. What about these Gorons? He's saying so strange. The marble rock roast just up and vanished. Sometimes the strangest things happen. But the city's bustling again and leaving the work at the end to that younger Gora means we've got time on our hands now. Maybe we should take a vacation. Oh, let's go somewhere we can really see the moon. I'm thinking about the place we were born, Trey. Remember how the full moon shone on the ground there? How could I forget? It was quite a sight. Going back there is a great idea. With the lava flows, the area's gotten confusing to navigate. I don't remember where it is. I'll follow you on this one, Vulcan. Uh-oh. I was counting on you to remember how to get there, buddy. Full moon? <laughs> now they notice me. Eavesdropping, were you? Yes, yes I was. Gorons are born off the land, you see. Vulcan and I were born from the same place, so you could say we're rock brothers. We were born in a cave. But the full moon shone so brightly, lighting up the darkness of the cave. It was a mystical thing to see. I remember thinking it was weird that it was the middle of the day and not night. I was just a baby, but I still remember it. Mm. Hmm. The only other thing I recall is that it was somewhere at Lake Ferona in Elden Cannon. Just in case, uh, I don't know, the, the adventure log might show those details, but maybe it won't. My memory is all fuzzy, Vulcan. Can you remember anything else? Uh, it's no use. Nothing is bringing it to mind. Maybe if I could see a picture or something that shows that full moon shining on the ground. Oh, okay, so I could go there and take a picture of them. Mm. Maybe I'll just stare at a map until I remember or something. Alright, um... They spoke of a place where you can see the full moon. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, so that is included. Lake Verona and Elden Cannon. So I didn't, I didn't need that screenshot, but whatever. Okay, um... Let's see. What are you doing? She says, no way. Oh. So what's your story? Getting in some Goron City sightseeing now that it's nice and peaceful again? I get it. You saw the big Inoboko Reborn headline plastered all over the papers, didn't you? What headline? Oh. Huh? No fooling? <laughs> I figured everyone would have heard by now, but here's a little snippet about... Or a snippet to give you the rundown. Marbled rock roast, which drove Goron's baddie, is no more. Apologetic Inoboko announced its efforts to rebuild the city. And you know who wrote that piece? This lady. So try picking up a newspaper once in a while, will you? Was that for the Lucky Clever Gazette? Because if so, then she is a co-worker. Time is money. I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back on the trail of the great mystery. It's something so secret that nobody has figured it out. <laughs> hey, now the part where you're supposed to ask the great mystery? Fine. Oh, geez, I hate to let this slip, but since you want to know so badly, I guess I can let Yeah, We all know Gorons lived underground way back when, but the particulars are still a total mystery. A great one, even. Uh, all we know is the place's name Gorondia. Wait, I heard about that yesterday. Was that the depths? Was that where I was? I don't even remember. And you're lucky to even get that. Ask most Gorons and they'll tell you they don't know a thing. Uh, but I'm gonna let that stop me? No, because I'm an awesome reporter. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. Ah. Doma's Guide to the Unknown is gonna fly off the shelves. I'm gonna start practicing my signature. Okay. I wanna go check out um, that thing for that side quest. The Lizard Lakes. 
Um, where is it? Is it in shrine quest? Side adventures? I don't know where it is. Which one is it? Out landing, outskirt stable, Koran City. We're here helping out make a newspaper. Why so mean? Yeah, she was not the most pleasant to talk to. Oh, that's the boulder breaker. Picture of a moon. Lizard lakes, here we go. Um It looks like it's telling me to go here though, yeah, so we're just gonna fast travel so the lakes are north of here hmm let me put on my climbing garb I want the pants I gotta find them. I bet they're in a cave somewhere. There's just so many caves. fan for these cards. That are two out here. For all my sages? <laughs> I don't know. I do remember though if you put a bomb in Most used. Oh well, how do I ignite it? Let's let's see. I was gonna say I remember putting bombs in them in these sections in Breath of the Wild, and it would make the carts go. Damn it! Can I not get that now? I don't know how I can set this bomb off, so I'd like it back, please. Yeah, let's just let's just do a fan. No, I meant this. Nope, that's not what I meant. <laughs> All over the place. Drop. Okay. And boom. Oh, there's the lizard lakes. I see them. We're going down, downhill. So we're not gonna stop anytime soon. Ah, eh, screw it. What the? I just picked up a fire keys eyeball. That was weird. I have no idea how. So that's the one lizard lake. That's the other one. What am I looking for exactly? Um, one brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. He believes they're halfway up Death Mountain on the north side. Okay, well, I just needed to get to them quickly. So that's, I think that was just the only point of getting onto the mountain. He hunts what the other one hides. I don't understand this riddle. Which one is hunting? Which one's hiding? It just magically gave you an eyeball. Isn't that weird? So maybe we should start with this one, actually. Is there, like, a treasure chest buried in it? There was no keys nearby. Well, I didn't see one at least. 
I didn't kill it. I guess the sage could have killed it, but like you have to press a button to pick it up. I didn't press any buttons in that moment. Here, let's turn on Ultra Hand and see if there's like a treasure underwater. Although this water is very shallow, so I'd be surprised. Maybe it gets deeper in certain parts. It does. figure this out. Oh, look. This is deep enough to swim, so there could be... I think we just explored the whole thing and didn't see anything, but there could have been <laughs> something under the water. Okay, I didn't see anything here. Let's go to the other one. I don't know. Like, if there's a treasure under the water, I don't know why they would just... Why they would just say it like... Two lizard legs, one hunts but the other one hides when... It's really just... There's treasure underwater. Oh, look at the little paw. That's so cute, the little lizard paw. I mean, I'm, it's not little, it's actually really large. But it's cute. Maybe we can go do that shrine afterwards. I think I already unlocked it. Alright, we're swimming. And while I'm searching for treasures, I can just see if anything else looks interesting. Ooh, a lizard. Maybe I should take a picture of it so I can put it in my compendium. Because I don't think I have anywhere near as many as I'm, I'm supposed to have. Yeah. I can use it as a, like a, like a sensor if I need to get more. Um, although I will say that, uh, I don't think I can use the sensor for anything besides shrines still. Oops. Because, um... Oh, look at my shadow in the water. That scared me for a second. I'm like, what's that? What's in the water? It's just my shadow. Uh, I think... I need, I need pictures of 15 different monsters, and I don't think I've done that yet. Um, is there a cave or something nearby? Could be... Here I am searching inside the water when it's probably just something near the lizards that I'm like, huh, what's in these, what's, what are these lizards hiding? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm, I've already checked so much of it though that I want to keep checking until I know for sure there's no treasure inside. But I will look for caves. Ooh, there's fish. <laughs> Sizzlefin shroud. I haven't caught any of those before. Alright, we got some fish out of the deal. That's something. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Uh, looking for a cave. Ooh, ore deposits over there. I'm gonna go get them. Oh no, a lizard! Oh, I scared him. Darn. I gotta take pictures of more monsters. Oh, I could have taken a picture of that, um, the Coblin boss earlier. You know, Bo? Can I have your assistance, please? Nice. I'll just use my own weapon this time. I think this is about to break. Might as well. Oh, didn't break. Next time it probably will. Okay.
back to cave hunting. There's a Lazophos over there I could take a picture of. I don't know if I already have a picture of that, though. A fire breath Lazophos. Yeah, I do have a picture of that. God, there's so many. A battle talus. It's so obscure. How many is that? One, seven. Damn, still got eight more to go. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, right here, a keys. I can take a picture of that. No, no, don't, don't press that. <laughs> don't push that, I mean. Hold on, hold on, let's sprint. Oh god, we, should, we better take a picture <laughs> before my sages kill it. Yeah. Okay, so now we have eight. Where'd it go? Who's his guts? Uh, okay, let's go kill this guy. Let me use that eyeball that magically popped into my inventory because maybe it was a it was a sign. <laughs> it was a sign I needed to use it. Why I don't know, but Cool. What the hell? Oh, there's a like like. I saw that movement. I'm like what is that fleshy figure I see? Hey, you don't throw rocks at me. Where's that tongue? Give me that gross tongue. Oh, you, you're not gonna be harmed by just any old thing, are you? You try to eat me. I don't know how you get it to stick its tongue out. You just have to patiently wait. Okay, there, okay there's its tongue. But it's not taking any damage. I tried a fire choo choo jelly. That didn't do anything. Maybe electric? Something electric? Like this. It doesn't do anything either. What are you in. What. What are, what, what are you? <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you for breaking that open for me. Okay. Splash root? No? Just blow it up, just use a bomb. Ugh. I'd rather find like like I was hoping that I would find something. Oh, it had armor on it. Do I have a picture of it? Oh, good call, good call. Rock like. Oh crap! <laughs> he took advantage of my photography session. There we go. Now it's in its normal creepy form. I was hoping that there I could figure out what it would be vulnerable to. Um, I guess everybody's just vulnerable to bombs. <laughs> um, do I want this? Nah. Where is he? Yanobo. Can I use you again? Oh, I gotta let you charge back up. I'll let him charge. And then we'll use it on this. And uh, I'm realizing now this is not a cave. Eh. Alrighty. Just fuse this really quick. Just just for fun. Okay, let's see. I have unlocked that shrine, so 
Do the wolves count as monsters? Probably not. They probably count as like, I think there was like a creature section. Ready your weapons. Charge. Sorry, but I don't have time to chat. You need something? Go talk to the captain. Yeah, you don't look like you have time to chat. <laughs> Just like, hey, what are you guys doing? I'll help. Don't let them escape. Lake Garmin Monster Den. Maybe I should fill up my health before I take this on. Uh, maybe I can come back for these things. Maybe I just do it now. <laughs> maybe I just take all the fun things now, like the ore and the uh, bright blooms. They're all just kind of hesitating. Oh, maybe I need to talk to this guy. What could you possibly need right now? We're right in the middle of a monster control mission. Hold on, Link? Link, it's you! Do you remember me? It's Torin. We met at Hyrule Castle. We were looking for Princess Zelda. Does this mean you came to help us? Sure. You probably noticed that we're in the midst of a monster strike. I hate that I can't join the fight, but someone has to stay behind as backup in case the worst happens. But if you gave them a hand, Link, I know it would raise their morale. Join the fighters. Victory to Hyrule. Okay. I will do that. Let's use a metal bud. Uh, most used. I should be getting up there now that I've been using. Yeah, that's right. Fight your friends. Um, you're actually very fortunate that Link showed up because Link brings four sages to help. Oh, I didn't mean to use you know, but that's fine. Maybe we can put him to good use. I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> Ooh, let's take a picture of this moblin before he dies. Yeah, <laughs> such a great photo. <laughs> Use a good dough bone on him. Oh, we got him in the butt. Damn. We did it. That was the very last one. Everyone fought bravely. Thanks for the help. If you don't mind, can I have a moment of your time? Why not? You did the hardest part of the work here. I really can't thank you enough. By the way, I couldn't help but notice you don't seem to be carrying that flame famed sword of yours. <laughs> I've heard you have a special sword, and yet what you have on you now doesn't seem so special. Ah. Uh, never mind. I should know better than to judge things based on looks. I'm sorry. Here, allow me to give you this reward for all you did. Thanks. I could really use the rupees right now. Oh. Without your help, I'm not sure we would have been able to complete our mission. Well, we make the for the Akala span in Northeast Akala next. We'll try to defeat as many monsters as we can for a while for now. I hope we cross paths again someday. Cool. Now is this the cave that I needed to go to for that lizard-like mission? Let's pick up the spoils of the battle. So this is the whole cave. Does this go deeper? It's hard to see. Nah, this is... That's a wall. Oh, up oh, there we go. There's something. Ooh, uh, dragonfly, butterfly, whatever it is, I want it. <gasps> Smotherwing butterfly. I haven't picked one of those up yet. Glad I looked up. 
I'll eat something. Or maybe I should not waste a meal. And instead... Um, bathe in the lizard lake outside. Well, this looks like the end. And I haven't found anything. Take a dip in the lizard water. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Save those meals for when there is no lizard water nearby. <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, there might be another cave nearby. That is what we need for this quest. I just stumbled up upon the wrong cave. Could be. Could definitely be the case. What an economic way to heal yourself. As I'm running through here, should I look for more caves nearby? Alrighty. We are all healed, that's nice. butterflies and stuff. No, that's not what I wanted. I thought I was ready to pick these up. There we go. There's so many. I think that it just looks like there's a lot. <laughs> Probably not really that many. Okay. There's one more. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. Take a look again. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. This is like kind of between. a Korok opportunity? Ooh. Is that a Stalnix down there? I fight a Stalnix. Where are you gonna go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so no. Yeah. album oh no it didn't register what it was does it need to be awake hmm. maybe it only comes comes alive at nighttime or something I can't use its head It's only the afternoon still, so maybe, maybe it's gotta be nighttime. Yeah, I guess it's just the bones. Oh, here's something we can blow up. 
You know, both. Is this kind of like in between? This is a cave and it's in between the lizards. Lizards burrow. This has got to be it. Yep, yep, yep. It's got the name lizard in it. I'd be very surprised if this was not it. <laughs> yeah, with that name, there's no way it's not. Will you roll up the wall? You will not? Okay. That's fine. Um, I'll just do it myself. Oh, it's healing me. It's not that crystal blue color, but it, it still heals. Nice. There's the boobles. Nothing else in this room. Okay. There's a treasure. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be like three bomb flowers. <laughs> oh, garb! I love that! Flame guard. Helm worn by a warrior protected the Gorons in a time beyond memory. It's said to deepen the bond with the Gorons when worn by a Hylian. Should I wear that every time I talk to one of them? Let's check it out. Oh gosh, that's actually pretty Oh, it looks like the lizard. We found it. It it looks like the lizard um, from Breath of the Wild. I guess that's what they're referring to. Like there's that's that lore. Um, in a time beyond memory. It wasn't that long ago. Like a hundred and so years ago. And then it was reused very recently. What does the item say about it? Just, you know, that it was uh, used in a time beyond memory. But that you get, um, you get a closer bond with the Gorons while you use it. Look, we kind of look similar, kind of. Oh, look at, hold on. Look at, look at you, Nobo. Look at him. And now, hold on, let's take this off. And then he takes his off. Oh my god, he's like, oh, you're wearing yours? Okay, yeah, let me put mine on real quick. <gasps> How cute! Do you do anything extra special when you're wearing that? Or no, it's just the same? Okay. <laughs> we just look cool, right? <laughs> That's so adorable. Did they have something like this for all of the other regions, I wonder? And this is just the first one that I found. This Wait, was that the side quest taken care of? Yep, it's complete. I didn't even notice that the like, side quest was marked as complete because I was just too excited. You hope so? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Twinning! <laughs> yeah, me and you know our twins, no big deal. That's so cute. Warm Safina. I haven't found that yet? That's crazy. Let's go do this shrine over here. I'm really glad that I persevered through not being able to locate that at first. It took me like a really long time to find that. Well, like, it wasn't too bad, but it took me longer than I wanted it to. So, um, yeah, I'm glad that I pushed through and didn't give up because I'm really excited about this. It, it doesn't it doesn't look super cool. I just like the, the reference and that Yenobo puts his helmet on when I put mine on. Alignment. Nothing to the left or right, okay. I think I already know what to do. I think. Just peeking a little bit, exploring. reach that one. Nice. This one's not totally aligned, but... Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that's too high. Yeah, because I'm going to want to get in there. 
I'll probably have to align these and then realign them. What the? Okay. Let me ascend through this. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. We got the treasure. Oh, I have to take it. That's actually fine, because I don't want this. And that was the only treasure. Oh, wait. I thought that I was going to have to realign those. Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> this is the entrance to the shrine for... <laughs> I, got, uh, I got tripped up for a second. I thought that was the exit. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. We found the exit. That was quick. Um, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> not that fast. Yeah, I, go, I go to the entrance. I just walk out. I'm like, wow, look how fast that shrine was. <laughs> that was a no-brainer. I don't even get my light of blessing. That's not a perfect alignment, but it's something. Ah. And jump. There we go. It was easy still to get to the end. Two more, and I'm gonna get another stamina. Um, do I wanna do another Goron quest? I'm trying to think of what quests I picked up. One of them was for that weapon. I don't really care too much about that. Um, where am I exactly? Let me go see if that Stalnix comes to life at night. That's a theory I have, and I want to be... It's a its a hypothesis. Stalnix is only come to life when the sun goes down. So now we need to test that hypothesis. <gasps> He's alive! I knew it. <laughs> Uh, what weapon should I use? Something that's not going to break so easily on him? I don't know. Maybe this wouldn't break so easily. It'll be nice and quick. Oh, picture. You're right. Thank you for reminding me because I was going to forget. He already sees me. No. <laughs> no sneak attack. Is this a good bow to be using? Yes, it is. Let's attach a Gibdo boom and shoot him in the eyeball. He's gonna step on me. Ooh, his eye, his eye came out. Get the eye, get the eye, get the eye, quick, quick, quick. No, I can't get to it. No, 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 no. What did he just pick up? Oh, it was his eye. Oh, did he lose his eye when he did that? He did. Oh, what a dummy. I shouldn't judge. Poor, poor stomach. I say poor Stalnix as I'm killing him. I didn't even bother to change my armor or anything for that. I just said we're wearing what we've got on. Yeah, I can't pick up any more weapons. Uh, doesn't he drop like his horn or something? Am I tripping? Like, is that not here? 
Or did it fall somewhere else? He butt stomped and his eye fell. Yeah, that was so goofy. I feel kind of bad for him because it's how embarrassing. <laughs> all the other Stalnixes are going to be laughing. All the regular Hennixes are going to be laughing. Hennixes, do you think that's the plural? Hennai? Hennixai? That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, gotta be honest here. Uh, I'm feeling super disappointed that I can't pick up his thing. Let me just put fuse on and see what happens. Just these weapons. I wanted to see if anything would glow. Just the weapons. Okay, I guess we're not getting the fancy thing that he drops. That's okay. Uh, let's take a look at the adventure log. Side quests. Hmm. It's Gerudo. Oh yeah, we still have a lot of Gerudo things. I'm I'm, I'm just in the mood to be in the Goron area though. Zora's don't mean <laughs> there's still Zora stuff we haven't done. I might not do those um for at least not for YouTube. Like I might stream this once I'm done and not put them on YouTube. Like I'll, I'll complete the game for YouTube. I think I've talked about this before, but I might save a lot of side quests for. Just like regular streams when I'm not recording. Follow the path into out of Goron City. Who's that a side quest? We're gonna have to fast travel. We don't have to. Oh, so wait, should I just follow the path in and out to find something interesting? Like a little surprise? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll do it, but... This is this supposed to be part of a quest? Well, the path in and out... over this way, so... I was gonna say, where is Tulin? Um... Yeah, I can't use him within the city limits of cities. <laughs> he shows up right when I'm about to hit the ground. I don't know what I'm looking for. Cave? I haven't gone in here. Let's electrocute this guy. And we'll get a better weapon. these open. I don't know if this is a full-blown cave. Oops. Yeah, it's just it's like a, a mini cave. That's the end of it, right? I haven't seen two Gorons. Maybe I don't know if I just haven't gone far enough or you can go to the ore shop in Goron City instead for wait for what? To sell ore? Buy ore? Why are all these lizards just hanging out? This is my lucky day. Oh, you make more money from him in Goron City? That's Nice. Ooh, and there's more lizards. Three of them. Just chilling. Not for long. You are mine now, lizard. 
and you will be used to make armor upgrades. We speak to the Gerudo person? Okay. I did see that Gerudo woman. Vi. We want to be PC. Uh, but I didn't talk to her. Am I still looking for two Gorons, though? I'm gonna head back. Are these two separate things, or... Was this part of what you were thinking of? Okay, let me just fast travel back to the city. Oh, those guys aren't there anymore because the marble rock roast is gone. There's the Gerudo. Yeah, I just ignored her earlier. Savoda, oh sorry. Savoda is an expression where I'm from. It means good morning. Although kids these days shorten it to Savo. Mm -hmm. I'm Ramella, I'm a, jewel a jeweler from Gerudo Town in southwestern Hyrule. The ore that Inoboko handles are high quality, so I always travel here to procure them. Mm. But at the moment there aren't any available here. I don't suppose you have any amber, do you? I do. You're gonna give me a lot of money for it? I'll buy 10 pieces of amber for 200 rupees. I don't know what it's normally worth, but I don't think you can get 200 rupees for 10 in a normal shop, so yeah. Ah. So, oh sorry, it means thank you. Yeah, I know. I've been to Gerudo. Eh? It's helpful. I'll buy ore from you anytime. Though keep in mind that I'm often looking for a different ore at different times. Okay. So check in with me every so often to see what I'm looking for. What are you looking for right now? Yeah. Topaz. 10 for a thousand. I don't even know how many I have, but sure. Ah. Now can we ah. keep doing this? Rubies, 10 for 1300. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Sapphires, 10 for 1700. Ah. Maybe I should figure out how many I have of all these things that I'm selling kind of recklessly. Um, I wanted to make sure it was sorted properly because I've been picking up a lot. I've got a lot of opal and amber and luminous stones and flint. Maybe she will want some of that. Opal, amber, luminous stone, flint. Ah. Uh. Damn, I don't have ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Fetch mm. your highest price. Okay, so it's still gonna be on diamonds. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just made a lot of money off this lady, so... I mean, this buy. We will remember you. How many diamonds do I have? Seven, you yeah. They're rare, which is why they're worth so much. That would have been nice if I had ten. If I only had ten, I would have said, screw it, I will get rid of all of them right now for that price. Um, wow, I started out with a very small amount of uh, rupees today, and now I've got a lot. Yeah, three more to make bank. If I get to 10, I'm coming right back for her. <laughs> um, I think I'm actually going to leave off for today. I did want to try to do one more little side quest in the Goron area, but I think actually I'm just going to save that for another time. But I appreciate you watching and being here, and I hope you are having a wonderful day and continue to do so. <laughs> Bye.